Hi, hey, welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. I did not think I would be standing here this morning on Friday. I didn't even know this was coming, talking about a new episode of the Sandman. Well, it's a double episode, really. And uh, there's stories that are part of, if you've read the graphic novels or if you heard the audiobook, that are definitely part of them. I just didn't know how they were going to do them or if they were going to do them justice. I understand why they did the 10 episodes like they did and kept it like that. But having watched the 11th episode, which is kind of a bonus, I'm very happy to report that I love this. Let's get into it. So the two double episodes, one is called Dream of a Thousand Cats and the other Calliope. Now, the Dream of a Thousand Cats, the audio, I believe, is taken from the audio uh, play that they did for Audible. You can hear the voices from the original creator in there as well. So it's nice to have his voice and a few other quite famous people doing the voice work here for the Dream of a Thousand Cats. It's also animated. It's a very different style of animation that they've done this episode with. It was a very interesting story because I always knew that this one was going to kind of trigger some people because there is there's a story about a cat and some kittens and something happens to the kittens and it's if you have cats or pets you know you always get your back up and how could they do that and I don't want to watch this you don't really see anything but you hear some noises to the the horror that's kind of happening that spurs the story to go on which is great storytelling so what happens is we follow this cat on her journey to get justice or at least understanding and she finds herself in the center of the dreaming and so we follow her story as she encounters her adventure trying to get to the cat of all cats the dream cat uh, who's going to give her understanding and perhaps maybe make a change and once she does it's kind of opens up the story of the sandman even more i love the animation style i love the voice work it's definitely worthwhile sticking uh, this on your list if you watched all 10 you're like I don't know about this extra bonus maybe just this a little extra that's not actually a good like an extra on a DVD or a blu-ray player no this is part of the law and story I would have loved it in there of the 10 but I understand why they kept it separate love this cat story I don't want to give any spoilers so I'm just going to tell you about it and you know add this in then we get the Calliope story this is one of the darker stories I mean they're all dark the Sandman but the Calliope story is basically about a muse that gets captured at the same time that the Sandman is captured. Um, so it makes it very interesting for us to see how that portrays or is portrayed between the two juxtapositions of these two characters. Now, Calliope is a muse and has helped the one person. And we see this writer struggling who wants to get help. And he's kind of fighting against himself to do what he needs to do to uh, get the muse to do what he wants her to do so that his life won't be so sucky anymore. But it gets darker and darker in its storytelling as the story progresses. And for me, that was very difficult to watch at places because I'd heard the old audible version of it and read the graphic novel. So I knew like the the surrounding of it, of what actually happened in those moments, how dark it actually was. It's very well acted, great acting. You'll recognize some of the actors in there and um, seeing the backstory of the Sandman and Calliope uh, the history of that, I kind of feel like the Calliope story should have been in the 10 more so than the Cats one because this gives some history and backstory, a, a, a deeper level of um, understanding to the Sandman, which I really appreciated. So this level kind of makes me care more for the Sandman, which I think is integral to some of those parts. I understand why it's at number 11. Um, but I do think you could have put it in at like number six in I trying to remember where in the timeline it actually was. But it's a really great ad, great acting, great atmosphere, building that storyline, kind of teasing like, hey, guys, look what you're in for for season two. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching. Here are another two reviews you can watch. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.